And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Talia's Peak, gonna be our next meme tier Monday deck. This is going to be a Targon's Peak deck that is also using Sharima. Here we go, Targon's Peak, and using the new champion Talia as we keep on trying to find ways for Talia. Talia, of course, has play, summon an exact copy of an allied landmark. Well, we could have Targon's Peak for our landmark. So if this is our landmark out here, round start, reduce the cost of a random card in each player's hand to zero this round. We can uh, use Talia to copy it so that we can reduce the cost of two random cards in each player's hand to zero this round. And that's going to be important for our top end. We're going to have a Aurelian Soul and Skies Ascend in here. These would be awesome cards to have cost zero, especially a Aurelian Soul that's going to be able to create other random Celestial cards that could also be pretty expensive that uh, will hopefully keep the keep the card advantage going for us, keep those things costing zero. But then, of course, Skies Ascend, just one-sided board wipe deal 15 to all enemies. Really crazy. And so that's a great card to have cost zero. So that's kind of the plan there. We also got a couple of Spirit Fires, which would be really nice to have, cost zero. Um, and then we have Star Shaping, get some more Celestials at the top end, keep us alive. Another good thing for costing zero. But then some early cards to stay alive. We got Ride Negation for protection. We have Solari Sunforger, the Fangs for some lifesteal. And then just some, some good landmarks early, because we are a Talia deck. So we got like Ancient Preparations and um, that can predict. The Chronomancer also predicts, so we can go find our Targon's Peak with that, or if we have Targon's Peak, then we can go find like our Champions or Skies Descend. So those should be pretty cool here. Preservarium for card advantage, Star Tip Peak to get some cool Celestial cards. Got one Ancient Hourglass for protection, but then also, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off, but it'll be really cool if we do, because Hourglass plus Talia is a cool combination. So if we have an Aurelian Soul in play, like from a Targon's Peak or whatever, we can... Um, like, like, let's say we had Targon's Peak and we hit zero mana Aurelian Soul, but we still have Talia and Hourglass in hand. We could Hourglass the Aurelian Soul, and then cast Talia, copy the Hourglass, so that then in one turn we get two Aurelian Souls in play, because then we'll get rid of the Hourglasses. So we could have double Aurelian Soul in play. That could be pretty crazy. <laughs> so, you know, who knows? Maybe that's something that we can pull off. All right, so let's give it a try. Talia's Peak. This should be a lot of fun. Here we go. We're just playing in normal today because, you know, it's meme tier day. Lucian Azir. Lucian Azir kills people pretty fast and attacks multiple times in turn. Definitely things you don't like seeing with Targon's Peak. You don't like... Like, rally effects are going to be very good against Targon's Peak. All right, you're going to be gone. All these things cost four, but they are good on defense. Um, and I kind of like Ride of Negation to stop the Rally effects and to stop the 2-1 Scout, but we're going to go ahead and look at him. Pass. Don't do anything. Just pass. Let's just not... You know what? Let's just, like, not play cards. Is that fair, opponent? The Emperor commands the land obey. That's mean. That's even more mean. Well, we get to do 8 damage on turn 3. On turn 2. Sorry, this is turn 2. 8 damage on turn 2. Yuck. <laughs> turn 2 attack for 8. Ugh. All right, that. Bask in her radiant blessing. Both this and the Golden Sister are two pretty good ones to hit. You're covered. So I want to play the Fangs if they're going to play something else, and then and like then I'd have time to play a Celestial spell like the Stun 2. If they don't play anything else and they go right to attacks, then I want to play the Sunforger. I think I'll play the Fangs. Uh, 
Sunforger's maybe a little bit better to play on my turn of just like play it attack. Okay, they did not play something else. Wow, that's brutal. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to, I have to just do this. I, I can't, I can't do anything else. I have to do this. Okay. All right, well, good hand from a good deck. A little bit better than our meme tier deck. All right, we got Talia Mirror. They're going with the, uh, probably the best version of Talia with Aphelios. But we're going pretty big. We got a couple of predict spells. Let's go find Targon's Peak. Targon's Peak. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Don't really want a second Targon's Peak. Um, I guess we'll take a Star Shaping. Like, that's going to be an important top-end card, right? Like, with having the Targon's Peak, we just want top-end cards. It is possible that they do... That they play, like, Desert Naturalist. That they have, like, Desert Desert Naturalist that blows up my Targon's Peak. And that would be very sad. That is possible. You turn it like so. Cool. All right, <laughs> we're yeah we we're going big. They say go big or go home. We're we're going big. See what I've learned. We got two skies ascends. All right, it's, it's peak time. Believe in the peak. We got three amazing hits with Skies Ascend, Skies Ascend. Yes, Aurelian Soul. That could be keeping Bastion available. The brighter my light, the stronger your shadow. Mm. I guess I could kind of check. Bastion check. Ooh, right of negation. Okay, basically, basically the same thing. Back heretic. I was gonna draw first to say we have more information of like what we want to do with this. I just want big stuff. <laughs> there we go, that'll do. GG's. The skies descend.
right. Talia's Peak, one on one. All right, back to another Aphelios deck with Zoe and Yasuo. Double Skies. Keep. I'm gonna keep one Skies. I don't know. They're a deny deck also. Let me just send it all back. We gotta find Targon's Peak, of course, first before those cards do anything. <laughs> Thanks, Atra Preparations. Came here right on time. And I don't know if this, this Star Tip Peak really fits our deck that well. It's not great with the... Yuck. It's not great with the Targon's Peak. But it's a cool card. Alright, they get some gems. So Comet's worse against, you know, like, Deny and stuff, but it's more reliable than Shower if they're going to be playing, like, Yasuo, where, like, all they have to do is just have, like, a Pill Cascade with Yasuo to be able to keep the Yasuo alive if I go Shower. So I guess I'll go Comet. Bask in her radiant blessing. Shower also can kill something with one health like Zoe, but I guess they're going to be playing the Flight also. Should have gone Shower. Man, they are missing out on a lot of a lot of mana. If I would have just passed there, they just passed to me. I'm gonna just skip all these. None of them say Targon's Peak. I'm gonna skip them all. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna pass. That's it's four mana they waste. We gonna get lots of celestial cards. Oh, I guess I'm not gonna be able to draw a card. Wait, this is too many cards. This is gonna be ten, not nine. Wait, yeah, this is gonna be one too many cards. Okay, I should have gone with the ancient preparations. Look for Targon's Peak. Cause, like, if we have Targon's Peak on top and we just get rid of it right now, that's gonna be sad. Oh, come on, let me let me just play this Moon Silver right now. Stop, let me play the Moon Silver. No. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. At least it wasn't Targon's Peak. Okay, so yeah, we wouldn't predict again. Because it just copies it, so it, yeah, because you, you have to play it to get the predict ability. That all makes sense. Their scent travels on the night air. Underestimate. I dare you. Get him, Talia. We will resist. All right, I'm getting these moon silvers. We're going to cheat out a really soul one way or the other. Our next attack turn, we'll get a really soul. One way or another. We're going to cheat out a really soul. All right, so we can. Uh, this turn, we're going to have Equinox Falling Comet.
<laughs> All right, got a deny out of their hand. Oh, there's Peak. All right. So I can grab Peak, but I can already cast a Rillian Soul next turn anyway. So it'd be for like after, because I probably want to play a Rillian Soul next turn, right? So like if I if I do play a Rillian Soul next turn, I'm not playing this Peak. Okay, maybe just take the Spirit Fire. Like maybe I should just be taking that. All right, I'm still taking Peak. Always rely on you to keep us safe. The main question is, do I want to <clears throat> do I want to attack with a Rillian Soul next turn? Do I want to play it before attacking? Or do I just want to play it after attacking? I guess probably just after attacking. I can just like attack like this first. I don't even know if like this challenge is worth it. Maybe. Those all fizzle. The heavens diminish without my attention. I guess that's why I shouldn't challenge. If I didn't challenge, I didn't really think about this. But the Skies Ascend would have cost 11 mana. And then I would have been able to cast Skies Ascend if I didn't challenge. Okay, let's see. Let's go with the peak. Only three cards we don't know about. Hmm. All right. Here's our chance. Well, it's better than deny, right? Because it resets that Fayblade Twirler. A little bit better than deny. All right. So my ruling soul is only at five health. Am I just playing Messenger Supernova this turn? <laughs> Targon's Peak hit the gem for them. One blade twirler out of here. Who's a good boy? I'm playing I'm playing the spirit fire. Yeah, I wish the rocks didn't fizzle, but I guess they do. Now we have pretty much all very good cards to hit with the Targon's Peak. 
two not so good ones. But yeah, that one's not bad. Now they'll pay attention. That one's not too bad. Maybe I do have a future. Okay, let's go with Crescent Strike first. You know, kind of test out any deny type cards. Now we've got the upper hand. Okay, cool. That happened. Sure. Terrain here is That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Sorry, Talia. You did your job, though. You did. You did good. You did good. This should probably have them concede. Oh, what they nopify? Oh man, that would have been such. That would have been awesome if they would have nopified that. See you next time, Runeterra. All right, two and one. All right, back to Sharima. We got all three champs. They're going to ascend. Love it. All right, we got Targon's Peak. Good. Um, this is probably a pretty decent Hush matchup, but Hush doesn't go that well with Targon's Peak. But it's good against, like, Renekton. Keep us from taking millions of damage. I think I'm just going to keep this hand. No, let's get rid of the fangs. I want something cool, splashy, expensive. Not you. Start to peak. Alright, so I don't know if I should actually play the Star Tipped Peak on two. Or even this Chronomancer. So let's see, because I could save the three spell mana for Hush. I guess I'll play this. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Chronomancers. These are all good options, honestly. I like all of them. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Those are all good. Oh wow. Alright, they're getting pretty aggressive. It can be undone. Back heretic. Yeah, I'll just block this thing. Mm. Back heretic. Believe or burn. I saved two life either way. I could keep my thing alive and then be able to block with it again. But... Okay, so we did hit the Moon Silver, so I can Moon Silver Targon Speak and play Targon Speak right now, but we are at 12. Otherwise, I could go like Chronomancer, Chronomancer, and I could just Moon Silver the Charger, so I can play that also, so I could just like unload all three of those things. And then make it so we're like we're better with Targon's Peak. Yeah, I think I think we should probably unload cheap stuff. That's what I'm thinking too. It's good to unload them for Targon's Peak. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Maybe I don't play this other Chronomancer and keep the Hush available. That actually sounds kind of good. So if they have Ruthless Predator, they probably challenge the 2-3, not the 4-1. But I, I can still Moon Silver, Moon Silver Hush and play Hush on this Renekton. Keep it from overwhelming. Which I, I, I obviously just cannot afford to have Moon Silver hit the Targon's Peak. Okay. Listen to me. Mm 
Or Targon Speak hit the Moon Silver. Y'all know what I'm saying. Okay. So I don't have, like, the best of best Targon Speak targets yet besides this guy's Descend. But that one's not bad. Because, yeah, I'm going to play the Golden Sister this turn. Could play quicksand, but I, I wouldn't really mind that. So this, thing, this thing's at eight. No, not the hush. The worst possible card to hit. That was honestly the worst possible card to hit. Um, I guess I'm just killing the two one. Looks like we're still killing a 2-1. So if I if I hush this Azir right now, they won't make a Sand Soldier when they attack, and they won't level up Azir. Or I hush the Renekton. I'm 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 at a pretty healthy life total. We can do this. Yeah, they would level up what round end, I guess. They won't get the Sand Soldier right, so they'd have to play another like they'd have to play another unit to level up the Azir. But it would be like like round start right, like the the next the next round round start. Because then it won't be hushed anymore, and then they would have played ten things, and they will level up. But they don't get like the free sand soldier that levels it up by itself. Cut them down. No retreat. Who's with me? We have no quarrel. Okay. Got the shape stone out of their hands. Really hoping we hit Sky's ascend. We had 25% chance. Skies to ascend. No, gosh. We are not good at this game. We are not good at this game. Shining gifts from the sky. Contest the Bacot. We have nothing to remain send in sky. Past and present. So they will strike each other. Do I want a really in solar skies descend? Skies can descend. always rely on you to keep us safe. Oh no! They had another one of those. That's that's so good against against my Targon's peak. You know they hit. They were actually playing multiple ascendants arise. That's you know. Congratulations, opponent. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Okay, well. This is what Meme Tier Day is all about. That's pretty awesome. I still have never gotten an Emperor's deck ever before in my life. I've and I've played a decent amount of those kind of decks, but they did have the two. See, I was gonna I was gonna have two out of my three cards beat Sky Descend right here, right? Like if they don't have that Ascended card, I feel pretty decent about this. But that was pretty awesome.
<laughs> so violent. Alright, good game, opponent. That was awesome. They had two of those. Level up your allies. We had one game with like a, a Kindred deck where we actually played against the Emperor's deck for a long time. But I've never had an Emperor's deck before. Alright, back to the same matchup again. Prediction started. Alright, we got that again. This is a better looking hand. Just because, you know, like we have the Skies Descend with... We're going to hopefully Targon's Peak a lot better. We I did terrible with my Targon's Peak just a little bit ago. Kept on hitting the worst card. With the Peak. Alright, so they got the exact same start. Same turn one, same turn two. I don't want to eat whatever woke you up. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. I turn it like so. Alright, we're gonna have a bunch of cheap celestial cards. Best with Targon's Peak. Oh dear, who upset the Tower Guardian? Who left the pizza in the oven too long? No one will ever know. It can be undone. So am I playing Peak or are we? Unloading. Play and peek. Sands beneath me and winds behind me. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we're all right, we're not doing very good of like hitting hitting stuff. Go Chronomancer first. Um, Talia is not bad. Do I want to keep Talia on top? Maybe the Ancient Preparations? Start Predict again. Because let's see, because I draw. Maybe we'll just skip all of them. I don't want Talia would be another Targon Speak, but I already have another Targon Speak. Alright, well, we got Talia anyway. Equinox is the card I can cast. Of course, we just want to cast cards. So I can challenge the 3-2 with my 2-1, but I also just don't need to. <clears throat> I'll just let them use all that mana. What do we get? Okay, zero mana, Talia. I, but I guess, like, the, re the reason to... The reason to challenge would be that that would have gave me another, you know, better opening for this. But they're probably attacking, right? Like if I pass, they probably attack. Ah. Oh. All these people have ascended the rises. Tell the people what you have seen okay, well. Back to the Emperor's deck.
Is we're helping we're helping these people live their dream. We're helping people live the dream. Alright, they gotta attack, right? Attacking puts a 5-2 into play? They have to attack. Thank you. No, what are you doing? Attack. Are you kidding me? Thanks. And then... <laughs> so they don't attack, so we don't get to play our, our zero mana Talia. I, I don't have room for anything. And then we draw the right negation right afterwards. It's just... <laughs> Just this could not work out worse. Yeah, we are so bad at Targon's Peak. These these last two, these last two games, we are so bad at Targon's Peak. Dude, check out like the check out the Nexus. I've never noticed this before. Check that out. That's cool. See what I've learned? Of blood. I guess I should challenge the three two. Whatever. Oh right, whenever that thing blocks, it does the two damage also. Alright. Throw away four things to do two damage to Azir. God Azir. That's God probably worth it. The sun disk is restored to its splendor. If I stumble, I have the earth to catch me. My journey won't end until I'm through weaving. I forgot that Rankton did block also. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. All right. Well, I finally I I had to like get rid of everything from my hand, but I finally got a skies descend. Unfortunately, the opponent attacks this time. Well, that's going to leave a bruise. All right, so a couple of Emperor's decks there at the end a couple of games that i felt pretty good about winning i thought that we were going to be winning until the the arise card the uh thing that just leveled up their champions to level three and everything both last the last two opponents both had that and that ended the game both times and we did a poor job of having our targon's peak hit skies descend um but anyway i think this was a, a pretty fun deck to play talia with targon's peak definitely really fun um, being able to, you know, if you can get that stuff to happen, really fun. Maybe we need more top end. Um, you know, like I had like the fangs in here for like some defense and everything. Like maybe like instead of star tipped peak, just some more top end cards, um, some better hits from Targon's peak. Just wish there was more, you know, like ruination effects or more big effects like that. Or that you could go wider, right? Like we, we could really just couldn't go wide enough because you know, like all these landmarks take up so much board space, but then you also have to have a whole bunch of units to block and everything like that. And we just... We couldn't go as wide as we wanted. But that was still uh, pretty fun. We got some pretty crazy games. And we got two opponents. They got to get the Emperor's deck. So uh, good for them there. All right, but that's it here for Talia's Peak. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.